everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be following up on a promise I made well, about five, six months ago when I did my channel update. This is the start of my new book series, as in I'm going to be reviewing a book. So obviously if you've followed me from the very beginning, you'll know I'm a Marvel fan through and through. I, I like DC, but I love Marvel. Um, my love of Marvel started, obviously, when I was a teenager. And believe it or not, I didn't actually start out by reading graphic novels. I started following Marvel through the films, as quite a lot of millennial people probably have to this day. Um, when I was 13, I bought my very first graphic novel, which was uh, Constantine. I think it was a Vertigo comic or something like that. Um, I didn't really get into it, so... I kind of put it to one side and I left it there and then I started getting more and more into these like Marvel films like especially when the MCU came along and then I, I picked up a Spider-Man graphic novel one day and that was it. I was absolutely hooked. There are so many absolutely fantastic storylines. They expanded to different universes, yada yada yada. So today this is going to be the first episode of this book series. Um, I'm going to start with something that my good friend Jordan, aka JL Collect, sent to me. That I sat last night for about an hour or two, like just deciding whether or not to finish this because I was absolutely hooked on the story. And um, I've shown you this in a previous video. I'm going to review Venomized. As you can see, the artwork like on this is absolutely insane. Like that, that's just looking at the front cover as well. But like when I, I read through it, I, I was absolutely stoked. Like the artwork's brilliant, the story's brilliant. I'll give you a bit of background before I go through it. Um, as I was reading this, I realised this actually picks up after a story I've already read, which involves the X-Men going into space. So it's all about the Clintar or the alien symbiotes. Um, and it's kind of evidence that if a symbiote attaches itself to a host, it then actually becomes vulnerable to something called a poison. If it attaches itself to a symbiote, it completely, like, like the human host or whatever host, that they basically is non-existent. They have the like, mind and soul of that host, but the body's just gone. And if that's destroyed, then the body's destroyed so starting this out I was a little bit good because it looked like a lot of heroes were getting taken down so in this in this story that I read before uh, the X-Men are in space with Venom and they're obviously fighting to get take care of the poisons and um, but by the end of that story they hadn't been wiped out at all and they made their way to earth with a lot of symbiotes and they just started venomizing all the heroes and then poisoning them, which is, it's kind of a grim story, but really, really had me hooked. It's got lots of amazing characters in it. You, there's a frame with, um, you've got Spider-Man in his black suit. Um, got that spoiler alert before I carry on. Uh, Spider-Man in his black suit, Venom, uh, Agent Anti-Venom. But my favourite character in this has to be Carnage. But Carnage isn't in the form you'd expect him to be. I'm not going to spoil that because that, that's an absolute game changer for this story. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through this. I'm going to pick out a few pages which really kind of like stood out to me. I'm going to show you the artwork. So this is basically at the beginning of the story when um, X-Force, who have been taken over by the symbiotes and in turn the poisons, have come back to Earth to start kind of poisoning people with symbiotes. That frame there love that there's just I, I don't know I don't really know how to describe that that's kind of like yeah shit's about to get real <laughs> uh, just a disclaimer I've never really done a book review before properly so if me ram me rambling's not really any good I'm sorry okay so this is a really interesting piece to me so as you can see 
Spider-Man's going after this guy. This is actually the Punisher taken over by a symbiote and then a poison. And he gets taken over by a symbiote. That, that is the exact same pose that's on the Secret Wars front cover, which I'll put here. So that, that's, I think that's there for the like hardcore Marvel fans. Like if you notice it, you notice it. If you don't, then obviously you're not a true believer. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm kind of here and this is one thing I can probably criticize about this is this here should have been a really really big reveal that they kind of just I don't, I don't know reading reading that page and then going to here was really anticlimactic so you got a dude in in the throne here and then you got this guy here this guy is clearly doom like you, you can tell by the green cape that you don't know who that is but then you go to this page, like, yeah, at first I thought that was Zemo, but it's actually found off something. You can tell, you can tell by the nutsack type chin <laughs> that it's found off. Uh, I feel like that could have been revealed, like, a whole lot better, like, it could, should have had a lot more impact. But, you know, it's, it's a really good story. It's really, really had me hooked. And the other thing about this is the symbiotes have actually been like programmed to not be able to unbond from their hosts, which that kind of screws them up a little bit. I'm going over on this video quite a bit, so I'm just I'm gonna get on with this. Uh, this was written during the um, I believe it must have been the Mighty Four run, because you don't see four, but you see Jane Foster. I'm not. A, very big fan of that run of comics like four is four to me but jane jane foster's all right i'm interested to see how they portray her in the upcoming um love and thunder that would be really good oh yeah this is this is the funniest bit they involve d-man it's like he's like the worst worst superhero ever they involve d-man and God, I don't know who the other guy is, but that, that is when shit gets real. When A84 is taken over by a symbiote and the symbiote is taken over by poison. Does she get out? I'm not going to tell you. Uh, this is probably my favourite piece of artwork in this whole book. It's the variant cover for, what is it, number three. And it's clearly poison for like trying to wield the hammer. Uh, spoiler alert: she can't wield the hammer when she's in the suit because it's not worthy. There's one really weird thing about this book. I've never heard of this character before. <laughs> uh, kid Kaiju, a kid who has the power to create monsters manifested from drawings. Weird superpower. From what I can see here, useful, but it's still weird. Eventually, a select few of the heroes end up in space. Um, but it turns out they're lured into a trap. And then at the end of the X-Men Venom story, uh, they think that they've lost Jean Grey, but they hadn't. Jean Grey was still a poison. And it was a ball ache for them to defeat the poisons but eventually Jean breaks free she comes back to life I don't know how she's like an omega level mutant so where's the surprise there they also it like involves the like the like the young x-men like from I think they're from another dimension so this is why I love Marvel comics because they just they merge the multiverses so well, and I really want to see this in the films. That would be fantastic to watch in real life. But to conclude, the story ends. There's still poisons out there, but they, they pretty much tackle the big threat. So that's my first book review for this channel. That is Venomized by Cullen Bunn, Ivan Coelho, and Kevin Librander. I'm going to give that a solid 8 out of 10, based on the fact that the Thanos Doom reveal wasn't wasn't as great as I would have hoped for it to be. I didn't know they were going to be involved in this story. 
so it was still surprising but it could have had a lot more of an impact um 10 out of 10 on the artwork 10 out of 10 on the story but the 8 out of 10 is purely for that just because i'm petty <laughs> if i gave everything 10 out of 10 well it, it wouldn't be very interesting with it so that's venomized that's all we got time for today uh thanks for watching uh, that's that's the first episode of this new series so let me know in the comments what you think uh, are there any specific stories you want me to review let me know in the comments um, I'm going to try and put one of these out every week or so so hopefully we'll have something for next week I might go back and do Civil War like I said I was going to in the first place but we'll see and um, in the meantime don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell to get the latest updates and a Merry Christmas to you bye for now